Hi, I've been asked to demonstrate the forehand yields. Um, we're in the indoor school, um, just so you can hear me better. And unfortunately, there's lots of mosquitoes around. So if one is a bit distracted, I hope it's just the mosquitoes. But um, first of all, we're going to do the forehand yields. So I've got the rope pretty short. I've got the rope pretty short right next to the, the clasp. But I don't ever put my fingers through the rings or through the clasp or through the loop on the halter. It's a really good way of losing fingers. So I'm going to put my hand. Good girl. I'm going to put my hand next to the clasp, and then I'm going to take my hand underneath. And I'm going under the neck, and she's responding by stepping round on a clockwise circle. She's so light to this, it's almost difficult to demonstrate much more than that. If I had a, a difficult cult or something that was really bitey, I would, good girl, I would get my elbow in under the neck so that my elbow is against the back of the horse's chin. So I can defend myself if the horse goes to bite me. If the horse went to strike out, I would immediately push them backwards. So to create more space, that's mosquitoes. Creating more space, that's why I would teach the horses to lead and to go backwards before I teach the yields. So you can always back the horse out of your space and keep safe. Under, under, under. She has a little lick and chew. She's having a feel about this. She's pretty relaxed. I was doing this as a pattern. I'd go hind legs. Yeah. A really nice burn. She's turning nicely. And go back. Good girl. Have a little closer. I'm going to bring the forehand across a little bit. Under. So this way, I'm going to go an anti-clockwise circle. I've got my elbow towards the horse's chin. Now I'm bending the horse to the horse's left. The right paw is going under the horse's body. she wants to do is put her head on the floor. Nice little chew. She understands these exercises so well. She's almost ahead of me. She's going to step back a step. Good girl. Change my hands over. Little finger towards the halter. Go underneath the neck. We're going to go on the clockwise circle. Left foreleg goes under the body. Right foreleg goes back and across. Forehand yield lifts her under where the saddle would sit. And then the hind leg yield lifts her a little bit through the loins, a little bit further back. And if you know this horse from my work on Bert Sheffield Paraquestrian, um, you'll see this horse's nature is to be very high, very peacocky, um, very proud. And with this work, we're enabling her to relax her top line, let go of the tension, and look a bit more like a donkey. But a happy donkey. And that's what I want. I don't want a horse that looks alert and start and I'm startled. I want a horse that looks happy and content. You just swinging your head around. 
really releasing attention. She's doing 